Today's lesson is dividing polynomials using synthetic division. Let's start out with what our learning objective is. I can determine if a binomial is a true factor of a polynomial by using synthetic division to decide, divide two polynomials and evaluate the remainder. Let's start out with just reviewing some vocabulary from division. So the dividend is the expression of what is being divided. The divisor is the expression I'm dividing by. The quotient is the answer, and the remainder is what's left. So we show this in this format where the dividend divided by the divisor equals the quotient plus the remainder divided by the divisor. Okay, so I need to remember this is the format the answer should always be in, okay? I don't have everybody finish it all and put it all in that format all the time, so let's make sure that we're really clear. This is what's expected. This is it in words. And this is what it looks like in a formula. Okay, I think they reviewed this in Algebra 2. So it's synthetic. This should be a real quick review. This is usually a pretty simple lesson. Okay, so I have a factor. When my factor is x minus k, the 0 is k. And when my factor is x plus k, the 0 is minus k. So the factor and the zero are opposite signs. Oops. So the factor and the zero are opposite signs. It's really important. Okay, so we kind of set this up as a L. And in the L, I need the zero, not the factor. And these are the coefficients of the dividend. I list the zero on the top left-hand corner. I list the coefficients of the dividend in descending order. And I use placeholders for missing terms with a zero. I see a lot of students miss this. Bring down the first coefficient. Multiply k times the first coefficient brought down. Put the product under the second coefficient, add down, and repeat until you get to the end. All right, let's, so let's do an example. Okay, so synthetic division is a shortcut. of dividing polynomials. Okay, but in the previous page, I described in words what we're doing, and this is a chart with some examples. So I have a vertical and a diagonal pattern. Okay, I'm gonna point out in this example, this is the factor. When I am using synthetic division, I list the zero over here. So I need to know if I have the zero or the factor. All right, so let's do an example. Use synthetic division to divide the polynomial by the factor. Okay, so this is a factor. And I want the zero. So the zero is x equals negative three. Okay, so I know I'm gonna use negative three. And then what I, to get used to this, it might be beneficial to list the powers here. So this is x to the fourth, x to the third, x to the second, x, and then this would actually be x to the zero, which is the constant. 
Okay. If it helps, I would write those first. So now I'm going to write my coefficients in. So the coefficient of x to the fourth is 1. I do not have a coefficient for x cubed, so this is where I'm filling in with a 0 for the missing coefficient. x squared is negative 10. x to the first is negative 2. And the constant is 4. Okay, so the process is bring the first term down. Going to multiply negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. I'm going to add down 0 plus negative 3 is negative 3. Okay, I'm going to multiply the 0 times the negative 3 times negative 3, and I get positive 9. I'm going to add down, I get negative 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. I'm going to add down, I get positive 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. I'm going to add down, and I get 1. So 1 is my remainder. Whenever my remainder is not equal to 0, then I am not a true factor. Okay, so the way I write my answer is I write, so this is now, I have divided by 1. So this is really now x cubed, x squared, x, and my number. I guess I'm going to call the constant a number. Okay, so I am, I am down 1 degree. So now I'm going to write my answer as x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 1 plus my remainder, which is 1, divided by, I am dividing by the factor of x plus 3. So this is the answer, not just the synthetic division table, but this right here. Okay, I'm going to take my same equation here, and this time I want to evaluate at x equals negative 3. So I'm using the same polynomial here. So if I evaluate, so this is at f at x equals negative 3. So I have negative 3 to the fourth. Minus 10 times negative 3 squared minus 2 times negative 3 plus 4. And when we're evaluating these, these are typically non-calculator questions. This would be something on the SAT. So this is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. So that would be 9 times 9, which is 81 minus 3 times 3 is 9 times negative 10 is negative 90 negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6 plus 4 so i'm adding 91 minus 90 is f at negative 3 equals one. Okay, so let's go back and look at our synthetic division. And when we did our synthetic division, when I divided by the factor of x plus 3, I got a remainder of 1. And here when I evaluate by the 0, I get a remainder of 1. So what I see is that at x equals negative 3, my point is 1. So this is my x-coordinate, this is my y-coordinate. 
So this y coordinate is my remainder. Okay, and if I have a true zero, so the coordinates are always gonna be some number and my y value is gonna be zero. Okay, so I need y to be zero to be a true zero. All right, I'm gonna have you talk me through how to do number two or number three, example number three. Okay, tell me how you start. So I have a factor that is x minus five. When I'm doing synthetic division, I would want to know what the zero is. So this is x equals five is the zero. So I'm going to set up my L. And I have three, two, one, zero. So I have no missing terms. So three, negative 17, 15, and negative 25. Okay, I start by bringing down my three. Five times three is 15. Add down negative two. Five times negative two is negative 10. Add down five. Five times five is 25. Add down zero. And my conclusion is I have a true factor because my remainder is zero. Okay, so my answer is, so this is my x cubed. So I am at one degree lower. So this will be x squared, x and my constant. So my answer is three x squared minus two x plus five. Okay, and I'm going to skip this. End of lesson.